like to call to order the Westmont Village Board meeting of July 11th, 2024 to order at 6 o'clock p.m. and ask Clerk Simsky for roll call, please. Mayor Gunther. Here. The clerk, clerk's here. Trustee Barker. Here. Trustee Brady. Here. Trustee Guzzo. Here. Trustee Little. Here. Trustee Nero. Here. Trustee Simonovich isn't here. Attorney Zemanek. Here. Village Manager May. Here. Would everybody please rise and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I want to welcome everyone to tonight's meeting. Um, at this point, open forum. There's no, no one's here for open forum, so I'll close open forum. Move on to reports, and before I say any report, um, we all know that um, Trustee Nero lost his dad um, for his battle he had, and, and um, Trustee Nero's been back and forth to out of state quite a while, and he had an opportunity to see his dad before he passed. So I, we all feel the same way. We're so sorry for your loss, and I figured I'd allow you an opportunity to talk first before we do any reports. Sure. Well, thank you, Mayor. Yeah, it's been a tough week, that's for sure. Um, you know, I'm, we're going to miss him. Uh, it's been a tough seven, seven, eight months with him battling lung cancer, and he's, uh, he's at peace now, though. Mm -hmm. You know, it was nice to be able to see him and be out there with him. Uh, probably more than I ever thought I'd go to Vegas the past six months, but sure was a different trip than, than the last time I was there when I turned 21 a while ago. But um, where are they going to miss that guy? I mean, geez, I talk to him just about every day, probably multiple times a day. So it's a little bit to get used to this week. It's still fresh, and um, but you know, it's it's just kind of a neat. I mean, I'm fortunate to not go through this a lot, so I I don't really you know know what to do or what to say in these situations, unfortunately. Um, but it, it, it was kind of remarkable on all those that have reached out. Uh, the community has been awesome. Uh, friends, family, neighbors coming over, uh, and that's, that's pretty cool. We live in an awesome place, and it was pretty, uh, pretty crystal clear to see that these past four or five days. So I'm very thankful for that, and, and I know my dad's proud of that, and he's, uh, he's up there watching down on us now. How does so. you? So we just wanted to extend, I'm mm -hmm. sure, as a board member, their deepest sympathy to you and your family. So Thank you. Thank you very much. It's good to be here, though. That's right. Back to regular. Back to work. All right. As he would uh, say. <laughs> and again, tonight, I'm sure Trustee Little will tell you there's something going on out there, and it's uh, our Taste of Westmont. I do have to say that uh, backing up a week, July 4th was a tremendous turnout at Ty Warner Park. Um, it is a community event, uh, even though the park district administers it, it takes the whole village to uh, run an event like any event, Taste of Westmont, um, 4th of July. Not only the police, the fire, our EMA all participated and helped make the 4th of July extremely successful. And um, I just want to make sure I mention that those, those are all pretty much, a lot of volunteers do that for us. Um, and I'm going to ask Larry Forsberg if he can come up to the podium. We had a ribbon cutting today. Maybe he can give a little bit of um, background information. Good, uh, good evening. Uh, Midwest Clinic just opened uh, a couple weeks ago on South Cass Avenue. If you haven't noticed them, they're immediately south of, or excuse me, immediately north of Papa Pissarro's. Uh, they're immediate care, which means it, that's the type of facility you would go to if you don't feel you necessarily need to go to an emergency room but you have an issue that you want to have checked out real quickly. Uh, they're fully staffed. They have other locations in the area. Their nearest one is, is in Willowbrook, uh, and the staff there is absolutely phenomenal. We met several of the team members there today, and it's very impressive. The building turned out great, plenty of parking, and again, emergency services are available seven days a week there. So if you need them, and hopefully not, but just in case, they're there. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we'll move on to Clerk Simsky. I don't think I have any much. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I do have 
a very interested consolidated election dates. We're already getting information on this. The election filing dates are changing. Further information from the state of Illinois will follow, but according to the Illinois Municipal League, dates are expected to be August 20th, 2024. First day to circulate petitions for candidates seeking election in the 2025 consolidated election. Mm -hmm. November 12th, 2024, first day to file nomination petitions. November 18th, 2024, last day to file nomination petitions. And then I do have a short notice on the community garage sales this year's event will be August 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Details are posted in the village, I believe. Well, thank you. And um, look, look for our website for additional information on the election. Um, we moved everything up about a month, so um, it'll be posted. And Trustee Simonovich, who's not here, is police public safety. Um, and I think Chief, you, I'll give you an opportunity to come up with that nice shorts and that outfit on, um, <laughs> on National Night Out. And the golf fundraiser, I think maybe you could um, tell her about Put me on the spot yeah, for dates. Yeah. Uh, so National Night Out is uh, coming upon us. It's the first Tuesday in August. Uh, we'll be hosted at Thai Park like it was last year. Uh, we have a, a series of uh, community um, members that will be there to uh, interact with, uh, with the kids and the parents alike. Uh, hot dogs will be served and uh, a good time had by all. We had a great time last year, great turnout. Uh, it was our first time at Thai Park last year. Uh, we moved it from the police station, which was getting a little too hot on the on the asphalt, so we moved it to the park, and it, it was way better for everybody. So we're looking forward to having everybody uh, back for that. And then the golf outing is in September. Uh, I forget the specific date because I didn't bring my sheet up here. Uh, but uh, Sergeant Weibler is doing a fantastic job organizing. We have a ton of sponsors. Uh, we had a great time last year on the inaugural, uh, and uh, and we uh, we're, he's going to do it even do it up even better th uh, than last year. Uh, one quick note, uh, speaking of Sergeant Weibler, he was, uh, along with a couple other volunteers from the police department, they did um, a fundraiser down at the NASCAR event in Chicago. And uh, after all was said and done, our, 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 what we received uh, credit for was uh, over $13,000. So he's, they are absolutely knocking it out of the park. And so we're already going to blow away the number on the t-shirt from last year. Uh, we're going to move up even higher. Uh, they are, he's doing fantastic work with that. and. Uh, we raise funds for? Illinois Special Olympics. That's it. All right. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Trustee Johanna Guzzo, Fire Public Safety Committee. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Our next Fire Public Safety Committee meeting will be September 5th here at 430. Everyone is invited to attend. Mm -hmm. Westmont Cruise and Nights Fire Truck Night. Fire Truck Night will be Thursday, August 1st. Come on out and have a great time. CPR classes, our fire department will be offering several options for CPR classes to residents and organizations. Sign up is on the village website. And finally, the fire department is hiring. Westmont Fire is hiring for several positions. More information is available on our village website, so check it out. That's all I have, Mary. Thank, Thank you. you. Trustee Brady. Well, the next meeting of the Community Development Committee is scheduled for August 8th at 4.30 here at the Village Hall. Last night, the Plain and Zoning Commission considered a uh, rezoning request on West Traub Avenue that will be forwarded to the board in the near future. The Downtown Incentive Program grant, grant applications are currently being accepted and visit the website or contact community development for details. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, Trustee Barker, Environmental Improvement Committee. Thank you, Mayor. Um, two things. The Environmental Improvement Committee, their next meeting will be August 5th at 5.30 p.m. here in Village Hall. And as we, many of us know, there's a tree planting incentive program, and the details for that are on the Village website. But that's being used by residents to pr plant trees on private property to increase our tree canopy throughout the community. But uh, a good program, well received. Thank you. Well, thank all. you. Trustee Little, Administration and Finance Committee, and the Taste of Westmont. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. We do have a lot going on. Our next meeting of the Administration Finance Committee will be July 25th, 4.30 right here in Village Hall. 
Now, the Taste of Westmont started tonight, um, 5 o'clock this afternoon, actually. Um, this year, everything starts on Thursday, including music at the main stage, which is a new way. Um, the main beer tent at uh, the north side is up and running, and all the food vendors are out there tonight. So please come out and join us for that one. Uh, some of the main stage bands will include High Infidelity, which is tonight. Mm -hmm. We have an Eagles tribute band, a Bob Seeker tribute band, Hairbangers Ball, a Blues tribute band to Muddy Waters, and a Pink Floyd tribute band. Details are on the West Westmont Special Events website, which is westmonteventscom And then cruising nights, we're always looking for more volunteers to help out. If you're hearing this message, let us know how you can help. Sign up online on our website at westmonteventscom And that's all I have, Mayor. Well, thank, thank you. you. Trustee Nero, Public Works Committee. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, just a few things. Our next Public Works Committee meeting is September 19th, 4.30, right here at Village Hall. Uh, and then just a reminder that our Public Works Cruising Nights is a uh, special night is coming up on July 18th. So that'll be next Thursday. Mark your calendars. You get to come and check out all the trucks. It's kind of a good event for all the kids. If you haven't seen it, definitely stop by. And then last, I just want to make sure everybody has seen the downtown pop-up park that's located at the Old Toon Funeral Home. It's now open and ready for the public to enjoy. For those of you that haven't seen it, please drive by and check it out. It is a temporary park. That's what a pop-up park is. It was used, it was created with very little dollars, all things that were reused from the park district, things that the village had. It does not mean it's permanent. I've seen some, you know, interesting comments. It's awesome. I mean, communities do this all over the country, mainly in warmer climates. But instead of having an open space, you get a beautiful park that people can enjoy. So I just couldn't be more proud of the Public Works team. I believe John Yader led it. And he just did a fantastic job to get it done in such quick fashion, but also to get it ready for tonight. So it looks cool. It's great to enjoy. And, you know, when someone's ready to develop, then the park will go away. So it, there's really no concerns there. Yes, Steve. Well, no, you, you said please drive by, but yeah. not this week. Because yeah. <laughs> Walk by this yeah. week. That's right. So visit it during taste. Yeah, yeah. And again, it's temporary. That's the idea. It was a good use of land while we're waiting for a developer to, to take it into something else. And that is all I have, Mayor. Well, thank, thank you. you. And I do have to say this has been, I've heard Trustee Barker been a we while, this eh? over and over. We need a downtown park, and we say it's temporary, but why? We'll uh, we're see a couple old yeah. parks people. Old park right? people. Yeah. <laughs> um, There's some great value in green space. Yes. Yeah. It looks you. beautiful. Staff did a great job. Yep. Um, great. Moving on. I didn't be removed from the consent agenda. Does any board member see any? If not, I'd ask Manager May to please read. Thank you. Uh, short one tonight anyway. So we have... As always, we begin with Village Board Minutes. Board to consider approving the minutes of the Village Board meeting held June 27, 2024. Finance Ordinance Number 6 is in the aggregate amount of $1,691,124.09. There's only one uh, separated purchase order that is for Lift Now Automotive Equipment Company at $53,202.62. That is for a mobile column lift in the fleet maintenance uh, garage. And if you put that together with the finance ordinance, the total is $1,744,326.71. And that's the entire consent agenda. Do I have a motion to approve as read? Motion to approve as read, Little. Second, Nero. Motion made in second. Any comments, questions? Roll call, please. Trustee Little. Yes. Trustee Brady. Yes. Trustee Simonovich is absent. <laughs> um, Trustee Barker? Yes. Trustee Guzzo? Yes. Trustee Nero? Yes. <clears throat> Motion passes. We're going to move on to new business A. Country Nest Resale, LLC, a charity event. Board to consider approving one of the following two items related to a temporary use permit for the pr a proposed charitable fundraising event hosted by Country Nest Resale at 1131 Fairview Avenue in Westmont. An ordinance approving a temporary use fee waiver request for a charitable fundraising event, which is $25, and a, a motion directing the village manager to deny the temporary use for, or you either or you either deny it or we approve it. This is an, un, an, an unusual process in that it's one motion or the other, but we just wanted to make sure that they were both on the agenda. 
Uh, I did send you an email about it's a special use permit. They don't have to be here at all tonight at all uh, for approval, except for the waive, except for the request for the waiver of the of the temporary use fee. So with that, uh, the code permits the village manager to um, issue the temporary use permit. Uh, staff reviewed it. It's uh, all in well. Uh, aside from we still don't have information on signage. But that aside, the um, the there are, there are no it, it's ready to be issued uh, otherwise to the staff satisfaction. So the intention is to issue the permit, and I can do that as soon as tomorrow. The 48-hour notice, and the reason that you're notified to do that is to allow you the ability to deny it if you disagree with uh, you know staff determination. You don't need to act on it otherwise. It's just if you uh, had that this is your opportunity to do it so the agenda it's listed as an either or you're either and there hasn't been any motions made yet so the motion will either be to direct the village manager to deny the temporary use permit or assuming if that's not of any interest then the actual request is an ordinance approving the temporary use fee waiver request mm -hmm. the fees are $25 this event I understand is three times um, three separate times uh, over the summer for will it be a whole weekend a single day a single day three times so it's three times 25 or 75 dollars and like other charitable special use uh, permits that you've issued uh, when it is charitable you previously considered waiving the fee so we need a motion for one or the other do i have a motion approving the temporary use fee waiver Motion to approve number one, Nero. Second, Little. Motion made in second. And they're uh, here if you want. I know. I was going to call them up on the question. The only thing that I would question is, um, normally we get a notice of what charities you're going to contribute to. All most of our events, you know, Lions Club, they're going to do this, uh, and there's nothing on here that states um, what you're going to donate this money to. So you can come up, introduce yourself, and tell. Tell us about the events. Hello, everyone. My name is Michael Hollis. This is my wife, Linda Waddington. We are the owners of the Country Nest Resale. What the charity is, is we've been participating in an event like this for quite a few years down in Morris. Morris calls theirs junk in the trunk. We've stepped up the name. I don't particularly care for the name. So ours was going to be Westmont Treasures. So in other words, what it is, is for $15, you bring your tables, your items that you want to sell as long as it falls in. There's no weapons, no edible foods that would have to be, you know, itemized or checked. Clothes, toys, pretty much whatever you would want to sell at a garage sale. Whatever money you make is yours. The money that is collected for the parking lot spots is what goes to charity. I make no money off of this. The only way I would make any money is if I actually put a booth up. Um, our first, probably, we've been looking into some of the charities. I've had Larry's help with it. One of the charities we're considering to donate to is PRC. Right. Um, and then I'd have to check. It might be them the whole year. Um, or else if I can find another charity that would be worthy of it, we would do that. Um, I You're guess, looking uh, at keeping the money within Westmont. Yes. At all times. How many, how many spots will you be dedicating? We can have, I looked at it yesterday, the area we're looking at is 24 spots. We could have more if we needed. Um, the owner, Bill, pretty much told me we're having it on a Sunday. Oh. The reason we do it on a Sunday is the majority of the stores there are closed. Okay. So we won't be impeding. I'm not going to serve food. I may have like water for people. But the reason I won't sue food is because Little Caesars is open and Fremont is open. Okay. So I'm giving them the opportunity if say like Little Caesar wants to sell slices of pizza or have a deal or Fremont wants to have a deal. I'm hoping not only to bring business into my store, but to bring it to everyone else. Because where we're at, we're overseen a little bit by some of the, the people. So I'm hoping to start bringing in more business this way. So it's more of a publicity, you know, advertisement for us. As far as anything else goes, you know, it's up in wings. 
it's a new event for us also the same as you us hosting it we've always been participants in it it started about eight o'clock in the morning setting up and it'd be over by four um, people would be responsible for cleaning up their areas I would be once approved or if approved I'll be putting out a social media page on it which will have all the rules people can pre sign up if they would like um, I will not collect their money until that day however because you never know with mother nature if it rains, I don't want to have these people's money and then have to find them to hunt them down or give it back to them. So you would pay your fee upon entering the area. You would go in, set up your tables, and then relocate your car to another part of the parking lot, which there's plenty of it, like I said, since the majority of the stores are closed. Um, what else? Went? The owner's aware, so we had to have the owner, of, I mean, they're asking for a special use permit. Well, like uh, Fremont, you know, does an annual Correct. event out in the parking lot. so. Um, the owner of the property is uh, aware and supportive. We have already given notice to all the businesses that are open on Sundays, so they are also aware of that. We gave them an actual the written notice, um, I, just basically saying that this is going to be done. And no. We had no objections from anyone because they know it's, I, I've related with them that it will not affect their business. If anything, it may bring in some. I think the biggest concern, and I know I staff probably looked at it, is the safety aspect. You know, you give up a parking spot as long as they don't tend to sway, go into the driving lane. Right. So I don't know if you're going to have a cones or just. There's a back area. It's going to be located in the far back. Mm -hmm. So you have an aisle this way and an aisle facing this way. We will use both of those aisles the night before. I will actually, I talked to Bill before. I will actually sanction that area off so no one can park in there. Yeah, they coordinated a whole That's what closed yeah. section. So yeah. it's once it's running, it's pedestrian yeah. only. Okay. I figured we did because it, yeah. any, and we do that so that it is safe. Correct. Right. And as far as like the safety, I'm 30 years in law enforcement. I just retired a year ago from Will County Sheriff's Department. My wife owns a law firm in Lyle. So we're pretty firm on our rules. You know, we have the right, and it'll be in the rules, if you violate the rules, we have the right to suspend you from selling. So if you're trying to sell knives, weapons, anything like that, illegal, we can suspend you from, from actually participating. Same way with cleanup. It'll be their responsibility. Now, we'll supply our dumpster. You know, we'll take all the garbage and throw it in our dumpster, but it's up to them to clean up, bag up, and at least give us the bags. Any other questions, comments? If not, roll call, please. <clears throat> Trustee Nero? Yes. Trustee Guzzo? Yes. Trustee Barker? Yes. yes. You're coming. <laughs> <laughs> Trustee Little? Yes. Trustee Brady? <laughs> yes. All right, motion passes. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. New business B awarded bid proposal 2024 MFT resurfacing project. Board of Cons Consider an ordinance awarding the bid proposal from Brothers Asphalt Paving Incorporated for the Village's 2024 MFT resurfacing project and authorizing a contract consistent with the bid documents. Manager May. So the MFT stands for Motor Fuel Tax. This is our annual street resurfacing program. And what you're approving here, and actually, I, I Half of this is the introduction for the next item too. But uh, we went out to bid. Bids were uh, solicited and open. The bids ranged from $1,004,000, I'm rounding, to $1,225,000. And the low bid was 17% lower than the engineer's estimate, which was $1,202,165.50. So the, this is a motor fuel tax. It's a uh, it's uh, administered by the uh, state of Illinois, the Illinois Department of Transportation. So uh, you're awarding this contract and, um, and passing the resolution so that we can uh, apply for the funds. And everything's done in their format. You know all of this. I'm just you know, explaining it's a different process to put these contracts together. So the staff recommends the award. I need a ordinance. I mean, you need a motion to um, approve the um, ordinance. Motion to approve. Second. Parker. Second, Little. Little. On the question. Here. Yes, sir. So this is a new name to me. This brother's asphalt, and the I guess the comment I have is I've seen other contractors work in other municipalities, 
and up until now, I think we've done a great job making sure that the uh, signs, you know, the roads were marked and it was clearly construction up ahead and everything. But a couple of our neighbor's projects, I'm, I'll say this, I'm driving down the road, there's no signage, I get there, and there's, you know, you're up on the construction before there's any notification. And then there's no flagger, there's no nothing, and the machines are spinning and whirling and digging trenches and stuff like that. Um, so we always want to make sure we have a good contractor. So I'm sure they've worked somewhere else. I just don't want this guy to be one of them. Mm. You know, so they are known, and we've used them before. I couldn't tell you when. I haven't been directly participating in these contracts for some years, but they're uh, recognizable. They, they need to be pre-qualified with the Illinois Department of Transportation in order to even bid on the uh, project and what you were describing is uh, often not you know municipal contracts so the traffic control is laid out uh, by IDOT standards with the motor fuel tax one and the one you know difference with the resurfacing is that other than when they're actually doing the work the roads kind of always open um, except when they're on site. So there'll be an operation and they'll grind off the old asphalt and sweep that up and then they'll go on to a different street. There's, uh, you know, there's a dozen locations that are being done across the town and then those roads are open for use. And then if you get to a point where, um, you know, curb has to be replaced and it goes through someone's driveway or if someone's got an actual um, access thing they need to be made aware of, we do that one at a time with them. But the advanced signage, is all laid out. Uh, I think our projects are done well, but when somebody's working on a home or private work or doing a water tap or something, I, you know, we see that a lot. And yeah, this you know. this was municipal work in another town, but as long as you know you've used them before, so you know what they can yeah, do. Yeah, we're comfortable um, with them because I'm assu I'm assuming those other vendors were also compliant. They just didn't follow what I thought would be typical safety practices. And 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 it's the responsibility of the next item the the engineering services uh, you know to monitor all that to keep track of all that too and stop work when you know it's not appropriate to be doing work yeah. thank you any other questions seeing in roll call please trustee Barker yes trustee little yes trustee Brady yes trustee Guzzo yes trustee Nero yes <laughs> Sorry, I miss you over there. Motion passes new business C, engineering agreement, 2024 MFT resurfacing project. Board of Considering Ordinance authorizing an engineering agreement with Primera Engineers, LTD, for phase three construction engineering services for the 2024 MFT resurfacing project. So I have a motion to approve. Motion to approve, Little. Second, Cuso. Most made in second. Any comments or questions? I think Manager May answered that. It's construction supervision services and it includes material testings and all the standard good stuff. If no questions, um, roll call. Trustee Little. Yes. Trustee Brady. Yes. Trustee Nero. Yes. Trustee Guzzo. Yes. Trustee Barker. Yes. Motion passes. Um, moving on, miscellaneous. Does anybody have anything? If not, then I will entertain a motion to uh, adjourn this meeting. Motion to adjourn, Little. Second, Nero. Motion to be made and second to adjourn. Roll call, please. Trustee Little. Yes. Trustee Brady. Yes. Trustee Nero. Yes. Trustee Guzzo. Yes. Trustee Barker. Yes. And I'd like to thank everyone, and this meeting is adjourned.